Hey, Chuck Sharfstein here, Director of SEO and Technology for Enlightened Marketing LLC. I wanted to show you how to install a Facebook Pixel. Um, so what you need to do is make sure you have an account, an uh, ads account with Facebook to begin with. Um, I'm not going to go through how to do that. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't see the ads manager over here on your left, you should be able to go to this, <clears throat> this um, arrow over here click it and go down to create ads or manage ads to create an account. So we're going to go to manage ads right now. And this is an old account that I don't use, haven't used in years. Um, so once you go to your account, you'll it'll look like this. We're going to go over to audiences over here on the left. Click that. If you don't have any audiences uh, yet, it's going to look like this. So what we're going to do is create a custom audience. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is put uh, code on your website to track people that are logged into Facebook coming to your website. We're going to choose website traffic. And you can do this up to 180 days. I'm just going to do 180. Add a description. I'm going to say main site audience. And you can do whatever you want here. Um, and then website traffic, I'm just going to keep it set to anyone who visits your website. You can filter out pages, so you can say people who visit specific pages and only have an audience for people, say, um, say I, I wanted to only have an audience of people that visited pages with Facebook in the URL. I could just write Facebook in here. And any page that has Facebook in the URL on my site, uh, it, it will give me an audience based on people that have visited those pages. Um, I'm just going to say anyone who visits my website. And I'm going to go ahead and click create audience. It says thank you and then we need to get the code. So what you'll have to do is uh, sometimes it'll give you the code right there as soon as you create it. I've created audiences here before and deleted them so that might be why it's not giving it to me. You can just go ahead and click the check mark next to the audience and then click on actions over here and go to view pixel. That's going to give you the code here. Um, so where this code needs to go is in what's called the head uh, head of the HTML of your website. I'm going to get on a website here and I'll, I'll show you where to put it. I'm going to show you just on a WordPress site because basically that's what almost everyone uses. If, if you're doing anything else, like if you're building your own websites, you probably don't need me telling you how to do this. Um, so on a WordPress site, you're going to go to Appearance. We're going to go down to Editor. <clears throat> and in WordPress, you have the HTML head information in the header.php. So I'm going to click on the header, header.php. Just make sure it says, uh, where to go, header.php underneath. It could be called something different here on the top on the title, but just make sure it says header.php down there. And then all we want to do is find the the head part of the document. So here's the beginning head part. In these two brackets it says head, and then here's the ending. It has the forward slash in front of it. So all we need to do is put this code right, right before this closing head tag. So I'm just going to paste the code there, and then once you do that, you clip click update file and that's going to add that that Facebook custom audience pixel code on every single page of your WordPress site. Um, like I said if you, if you have some other uh, CMS then it might be a little different. A lot of times you can go to uh, where it asks you to put uh, tracking code or Google Analytics code if it asks for the, whole, the entire bit of code not just the little number. If it asks for the whole amount of code or it says a place for tracking code, you can put it there usually and it's going to place that in the head for you. So if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments below. If you got value out of this, you can like and share this video. Hope you did. Again, I'm Chuck Sharfstein, Director of SEO and Technology for Enlightened Marketing LLC. Take care.